I can't produce gas at home, but I can generate electricity using solar panels. The Jackery power bank is currently charging the Tesla Model 3. This Jackery E1500 has a massive 1.4 kilowatt hour storage. This video demonstrates solar pass-through charging an electric car using a Jackery power bank with 400 watts solar panel array. It took me a long time to finish this project. Please smash the like and subscribe. Thank you. The charging speed is equivalent from a 110 volts wall outlet. As you can see on the car screen, a fully charged battery bank would only provide four to five miles range. I started this project about three months ago in a parking lot. I got the full 400 watts output from these four panels back in April. Then I realized I forgot to bring the car charger, but at least I get to film the unboxing as well as the solar charging battery bank at 400 watts per hour. The AC charging brick and a car charger is included with two of these solar parallel connector accessories, which connects two panels in parallel to double the output. The unit is very well built and quite heavy. I got 31% new. I guess this is the recommended storing percentage if you intend to keep it in your storage for a long time. There are dual DC inputs, which works great with the four panels joined in parallel. This is the included parallel connector, which features two eight millimeter barrel connector with one output. It really makes the connection process super easy. Each solar panel has two kickstands built in. Finding a position facing the sun directly is critical to get the optimum output. It was really cold that day, but I was able to get 320 watts when the system was connected for the first time. A higher input wattage was recorded, which you will see later. It seems impractical, but doable. The solar panels are very good quality and slightly bendable. Get this thing in the trunk. Amazing, I'm getting almost 400 watts. 372, 70, 384. Okay, the display turns off after 10 seconds. Almost 400 watts. Oh my God. This is great result. The cables are long enough. And um, yeah, 100 watts panel each. So this is great. I'll be able to charge my Tesla with this. Wow, amazing, 401. And this is winter time. Um, I think I may get even better results uh, during summer. Three hours to full recharge, 32%. Um, it came with 30% from the factory. And all you need to charge the Tesla is this uh, one. I have also made a previous video about it. You need to um, grab this uh, ground bonding plug with a power strip. Let's take a look. Amazing. This is a very portable setup. I can totally travel with it. Does not take too much space in the trunk. The unfolding and cable connection can be done in maybe two minutes. The solar panels looks beautiful with built-in USB Type-A and USB Type-C charging ports in the pouch, which also acts as a cable organizer. Uh, keep in mind that Type-C is not a power delivery port. It's still a five volts at three amps so that's 18 watts charging power to your iPad or other small electronics. I found it 
amazing that I'm getting more than the factory rated 400 watts output from these panels. I'm back home with the battery fully charged to 100%, enabled the uh, AC output, um, connected the Tesla wall charger, the mobile charger with the um, power strip, Ground plug, uh, ground bounding plug is a must. Output one thousand three hundred. Okay, charging started. Without this little device, it will not work. One hour remaining. Let's go take a look at the car. One kilowatt, 12 amps. I just changed the energy display to be distance, 205 miles. Change it back to energy, it's gonna be 84%, four miles per hour. Thirty minutes later, thirty-three percent still charging. So I got back home, set the solar panel again, and let's charge it. The input is 261 watts, connected um, to the car. And there you go. Let's take a look at the power meter. 1,283 watts. 1.3 hour remaining and we got 260 watts input let's take a look at the car fifteen hours five minutes remaining slowly one kilowatt hours not bad 12 amps so the equivalent of a wall charging speed okay Additionally, I can plug in my power tools charger. That's the DeWalt battery bank, battery pack. Okay. This thing is very interesting to, to look at. Input is 300 watts now, and we only got. 0.4 hour remaining. <laughs> it's draining more power than its input. Still, doing a great job. It's impractical, but um, it's doable. You cannot produce gas at home, but it is totally possible to generate electricity. It's 
not good to fully drain the battery pack. So I decided to unplug it. And at this charging rate, I'll be done in 3.3 hours at 29%. It also supports USB-C power delivery port. I believe this is a 60 watt port and QC3 dual USB Type-A, three ports, 12 volts. It's pretty simple. Flashlight on the side. Nothing else. Of course, it's always faster to use the 30 amp watch, watch charger to recharge the car. Yes, I agree.